Hey, Jalen, Alex Bozich with Inside the Hall. Thanks for the time. Um, just curious, um, with Coach Marshall, what you've kind of learned so far working with him and if there's anything specific that you want to try to accomplish this summer with with conditioning and, and strength and all that? Um, aside from him being a strength coach, he's just a great guy, you know, outside of, you know, being in the weight room. Uh, he does a great job of sending motivational messages and, as far as in the weight room, he does a great job with us on our body, making sure we're staying on top of our nutrition. So overall, it's been great for me. Um, through my time being here, I got here June 2nd. Um, and when we started workouts, I just, from then until now, I see a, a difference in my body. So it's been great. Mike Schumann. Yeah, hey, Jalen, Mike Schumann with the Daily Hoosier. Um, based, based on what you know about how Coach Woodson wants to play this year, what do you think the chances or probability is that you play a lot alongside Xavier Johnson? And and what do you think you have to do with your game to make sure that that happens? I mean, the way he wants to play is kind of fits my game perfect. Uh, he wants to play fast, you know, get the ball out. And, you know, for me, you know, playing alongside Xavier Johnson, that'd be great. I think we both complement each other's games uh, very well. Um, prior to coming to Indiana, I already had a, a relationship with Xavier. So we kind of already built that bond. So, to get here now and to, you know, practice with them and kind of get a feel for everybody, I think it's going to be great. Jack Ankeny. Jalen, uh, Jack Ankeny with SI Indiana. Um, I guess now that you've been practicing with the team for a few weeks now, what do you think the biggest learning curve or adjustment for your game will be um, transitioning from high school to college? Well, for me, playing at the – the highest level of high school basketball, uh, playing at Mount Verde Powerhouse. We're playing against some of the top guys in the country. So obviously transitioning from high school to college is definitely a big uh, difference. But for me, you know, honestly, I already had like the body. Uh, I work on my game all the time. So really just, you know, some of the small things, just some of the terminology and everything. But I'm pretty much good just learning every day, learning from the older guys, uh, watching film and, you know, pretty much that's it. Dustin. Jalen, uh, to keep going on on what you said about Montverde, I mean, obviously when you were there, uh, you know, your first year, you obviously had some guys ahead of you. You were coming off the bench. Uh, you've played next to a lead guard. I mean, you, you had to play a whole bunch of different roles there. Um, what what was the value of that for your game and how much do you think it helped specifically with the possibility of having to play next to X, back up X, you know, being a guy that's going to have to play probably point and two as well? How, how do you think all of the experiences that you had at Montverde are going to prepare you for that? Yeah, I mean, that situation at Montverde, my junior year, that was different from, you know, the situation now. But for sure, uh, that year at um, Montverde, my junior year, it was definitely a different year for me. For Like you said, um, coming off the bench a little bit and not getting as much minutes as I would like was different. But I think, you know, it was good because, you know, sometimes you might be put in situations like that. So, you know, I think that prepared me for, you know, whenever, if I ever have to come across that in the future. Peeps. Hey, Jalen. Uh... You're our foremost authority on Malik. You played with him the last the last year and, and so forth. And how is he suggested and what will he bring to Indiana? Uh, Malik's a you know really good person and a great player. Uh, he works you know really hard and you know that was my high school teammate obviously. So you know I know his game you know really well. So like I said, he works really hard and from being up here in Indiana, I know the coach is going to get him right and I know he's going to be locked in and he's going to have a big year. Tom Brew. Hey, Jaden. Tom Brew, Sports Illustrated, Indiana. What? Uh, so here we are at uh, late June. Between now and, and early November when the season starts, what are the, uh, the two or three things you really want to try to work on hardest with your game in regards to, to trying to get thing, everything as fine-tuned as well as you can by November? Well, everything, really. I'm, I'm still young, so I feel like every part of my game has to get better. But for me, just, you know, keeping up my body, um, being keep being a leader, you know, being vocal, you know, at the college level, you have to be vocal, especially at the point guard position. Um, you know, just pretty much keep doing what I'm doing, getting better at everything, um, keep shooting the ball, everything really. Kevin Brockway. Yeah, Jalen. Hey, I'm just curious about your relationship with uh, Xavier. You mentioned that earlier. Can you expound on that? How you how you knew him? And then also what's it been like uh, practicing against older guys? Uh, I'm from Pittsburgh and you know he played at Pitt. So you know, me and him had kind of already built a relationship. I started to talk to him through, like, Instagram. And I even played a uh, pickup with him a little bit when I was in um, Pittsburgh a couple times. So 
um, just building that relationship was pretty good. So, you know, for me coming here, you know, me and him just continued that relationship and, you know, getting here, playing against, you know, these older guys. I mean, I've been playing against older guys all my life. Um, so, you know, it's definitely, you know, good. And, you know, it's, it's been great learning from everybody, you know, getting out there with the guys. I think this is Zach. Yeah, Jalen, uh, somebody asked you about Malik, but I'm just curious. Your other two classmates, now that you've gotten a little time with them, I imagine you'd maybe watch some of them, maybe even gotten to play in open gyms with them at different times. But now that you've spent some, some quality time around CJ and Caleb, I imagine gotten a little bit of run with them, obviously spent time in the weight room with them. What are your impressions of those guys as well? Uh, before coming to Indiana, I watched a lot of film on them guys, but you know, sometimes film can be a little different from seeing them in person. So from seeing them in person and being around them, uh, they're pretty good. Um, CJ's a great player. Uh, Caleb's a great player. Uh, they still got work to do, like the, all of us, but, you know, they're going to be good. I think they're going to be good for us this year, and, you know, they just got to keep grinding. Tyler Tackman. Hey, Jalen. Tyler Tackman with Inside the Hall. I hope you're doing well. Um, I guess as far as what you've been able to do on the court, um, you know, have you guys been mo working mostly on offensive stuff, defensive stuff? What are kind of the, the first steps that you guys have been taking this summer? And, and what's the biggest thing that you've learned from Mike Woodson so far? Yeah, make sure every, uh, uh, everything, uh, defense and offense, uh, but really just really getting up and down. You know, Coach Woodson's big on, you know, live, you know, actions because, you know, that's how you get better. So we do a lot of scrimmaging. And, you know, some of the biggest things I learned is just, you know, you just want these guys to play hard. He's big on defense, which, you know, that's, you know, a big part of my game. So, you know, I think this year is going to be a, a really good year for sure. Kevin Vera. Hey, Jalen, hope you're doing good. I uh, wanted to ask you about, you know, you just got on campus with that freshman class. So how have the older guys and Coach Woodson kind of coached you and welcomed you to Bloomington? Uh, it's been great. You know, obviously, the, you know, we're the new guys. So, you know, the coaches are tough on us and they push us. But, you know, it's like tough love, you know, outside of the basketball court, they're loving, you know, they – you know, we have great relationships with us, um, with each other. But, you know, whenever we're on the court, um, you know, they're real tough on us. Make sure, you know, we're on top of our game because, you know, Coach Woodson always says for us, we have to speed up the process. So it, it's been good. Alex Bozic. Jalen, I'm just curious from a basketball perspective, what do you feel like you need to – improve on the most this summer anything specific and what do you feel the biggest adjustments going to be next season when you actually start playing games well, like I said before you know I'm still young so I have to get better at everything you know I'm nowhere as near as you know good as I can be so just keep working on everything um I think the next you know thing I really have to showcase is probably my three ball which I'm in the gym every day working on it so you know this year I think you know people will get to see you know a lot of my game um you know how much you know, better I didn't got since the high school season, how much more expanded, you know, my game's got. So I think it's going to be good. Mike Schumann. Yeah, Jalen, I've seen a lot of national people say that you're one of, if not the best defenders in your class, especially on the ball. Tell us why that part of the game is so important to you. I'm just very competitive. And, you know, I would hate for somebody to ever say they got the best of me. So just growing up, um, I always played against, you know, older competition, played against my older cousins and, you know, when I was younger, they used to, like, bully me. So I always took it to heart. So as I, you know, growed up, I just always wanted to, you know, be the best defender and make sure no one ever got the best of me. Rick Bozich. Yeah, Jalen, um, we've heard you described as a point guard. Do you consider yourself a point guard, a two guard, or just a guard? And for those of us who have never seen you play, is there somebody out there that you think your game, you style it upon or, you, or it's similar to? Yeah, I'm definitely a true point guard, but at the end of the day, I'm a basketball player. You know, I'm versatile. I can, you know, play wherever the coach needs me to play. But, you know, I'm definitely a point guard. You know, I love getting my teammates involved, love leading. And, you know, as far as players, I, you know, I look at um, old school players. You know, I like looking at Jason Kidd's highlights, um, Kobe. And then current day, I like looking at Chris Paul, Devin Booker, and uh, Luca. Dustin. Uh, Jalen, kind of keeping on that track, how did uh, how did you become a better point guard at Montverde? What, what are some things about the position that you uh, you know came to understand playing at that level uh, and with those guys and with that caliber of competition and also teammates? How, how did you get to be a better player and, and, and make your game as a point guard better there? I would just say the everyday grind, you know, just the practices. You know, every day you're going against, you know, the five-star guys in high school. So it's just good. You know, the coaches did a good job of pushing us and, 
you know, I think overall, you know, it gave me a big leap to where you know I am now, and it's definitely helped me now that I'm in college. Tom Brew. Jalen, uh, how much uh, did you watch uh, Indiana basketball last year and, and Coach Woodson's first year? And I know there's going to be a lot of additions to that this year, but how much did you watch in, 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 in relationship to fitting in yourself? How much are you looking forward to being a part of that system, both offensively and defensively? I mean, I watched everything. You know, I'm big on film. You know, I like to see uh, – last year I like to, you know, see how they play, you know, how Coach Woodson coaches and everything, just to see where I could fit in. Um, and I still watch the games now just to make sure – now I'm on top of everything, just looking at, you know, some of the defensive schemes, looking at the offense. And, you know, now that I'm here, you know, it's great because I get to watch, actually break down film with, like, the coaches and everything. So it's been good. Jack Ankeny. Jalen, um, when Malik decommitted from Florida, I guess, what was your recruiting pitch um, for him to come join you at Indiana? So I was with him, actually, when he did, when he uh, decommitted. Um, so as soon as that happened, I literally text my coaches. I was like, we have to get on Malik. So, you know, as soon as I said that, you know, the coaches got on him and, you know, they, they did a great job of recruiting him. Tyler. Jalen, you had mentioned um, when you were younger playing against guys that uh, were bigger than you and kind of getting pushed around. Are, like, are there any memories – um, that you have, I guess, whether it's playing uh, pickup or anything like that, that kind of sticks out to you, that kind of helps shape your toughness? It was literally just every day playing in my grandma's uh, backyard, my grandma and granddad's backyard, going against my other cousins, uh, Sharon and DeAndre. They just pushed me every day. And I was always the young kid. And, you know, all their um, older friends, you know, my big bros, they would be up there and they were always bullying me. But it got to a point where, you know, I got good and I was able to compete with them. So it just helped me. And it, like, really bred me into who I am now. How how old were you when you kind of finally were able to uh, beat them? Um, I would say twelve. I was able to compete with them, and then once I hit probably eighth, ninth grade, I was like, you know, winning some games a little bit. But now it's like, you know, I don't lose no more. <laughs> okay, two more questions, Kevin Vera. I know we kind of touched up on this a little bit earlier, but being at Monverde and kind of one of the most prestigious and uh, well-renowned uh, programs in the country, how has that kind of helped you now to transition? And how do you think that's going to help you transition into your freshman year? Uh, like you said, it's a prestigious program. You know, Coach Kevin Boyle and Coach Ray Miller have been in it for, what, 30-plus years. So they have the track record. If you look at the players they have, you know, they have NBA All-Stars and, you know, things of that nature. But like I said, like the everyday grind, and Montverde, people don't really know what's, you know, put into it. Like the practices, it's, it's almost like a college practice. You practice in three plus hours every day. Um, so it really prepared me, you know, for now. And I'm in college, you know, now going through college, it's almost like I'm at Montverde, but just, you know, at a college level. So it's been great. And, you know, I'm thankful for Montverde. Okay, last question, Mike. Peter. Hey, Jalen, you've been in college for the first time here this month. What are your favorite things about the city of Bloomington and IU campus? Um, everything really just the you know, the love and support from everybody and really just for me, you know, my, my favorite thing is just being in the gym, just grinding, you know, working on my game and being around the fellas and the coaches.